for the press conference, if you not um, not a reporter, if you guys want to stand along the building, that would be great. If you're with press, if you want to be where the cars are, that would be great. Hi, nice to meet you.
家好，我係朱美琴，啊，我喺華策會做，已經超啊做廿四小時嘅工作，得唔得？我睇到啦，就係我翻譯。啊，我喺華策會做護理員超過十年，啊，做廿四小時工作咧超過五年有多，咁樣，因為佢做唔聽到。嗰把聲唔入，唔係，大啲，大啲，得啦。啊，即係做廿四小時嘅工作咧，係好繁重嘅。咁樣，我一個星期咧，連續做三日、四日咁樣做。咁樣，啊，我全部嘅精力咧，都係放曬喺病人嘅身上，要照顧病人。啊。每晚咧都有起床三四次咁樣照顧病人，啊啊、我自己咧反而咧仲冇好好咁休息，啊、得到正常嘅休息，咁對我身體咧傷害好大。啊！第一次嘅病，有一次病啊，婦病人咧去廁所，咁樣都嚟我自己啊，我變咗唔俾個病人跌倒，咁樣咧變咗我自己嘅腰啊、個肩膀啊都都傷咗，唔抹入去。啊！咁樣咧，我之後咧我都唔做得到工。未開啊，冇聲。有有有，揸住我。做乜佢？你揸你佢，我隻手仲痛。咁樣我而家咧，我都冇做得到工，反正我而家咧都啊傷殘咗。我而家我隻手都唔做得到嘢，我都有啊人照顧我而家。誒，即係我哋。如果誒咁樣廿四小時照顧個病人咧，嗰啲壓力就好重㗎。咁啊，誒，咁我哋廿四小時嘅工作咧，都係唔係咁啊，唔係人道啊，即係啊，差唔多係啊，好似奴隸工咁一樣㗎。啊、嗯，等我翻譯呢一段，然後繼續好嗎 ？OK， 我翻譯。Uh, so she say, uh, my name is uh, May Kong Chu. I have been work, uh, toward, um, home care worker at CBC more than 10 years. Uh, I've been working like 24 hour shift for more than five years because the work for care of the, of the patient is really a lot and heavy. I work continu continuously 24 hour for three, four days per week. All my energy is spent on the patient. I wake up three, four times a night to take care of the patient. So I have no way to rest regularly. So the one time I was uh, helping the patient to use the bathroom. In order to not let the patient fall down, I injure my shoulder. I cannot work anymore. So, and I become a disabled person. Um, guys, um, come Zhao Yi 我哋嘅婦女咧，好似奴隸咁樣咧，廿四小時做，不停咁整日夜咁樣照顧個病人。咁咧，啊，我哋日夜都承受呢個照顧病人嘅壓力，同埋責任。我哋而家咧，啊，我哋而家咧唔想做奴隸，我哋咧，我哋有做嘅。啊！我哋要求州政府咧有立法，有保障工人嘅啊，誒個病人嘅誒法案，啊希望州政府能夠立法改善我哋護理員啊嘅工作，啊同時咧保障病人咧，我哋照顧得好好，啊希望佢咧分開兩班仔，我講係咁啦，呀、啊。Uh, uh, she say uh, today, so the legislature proposal uh, speak the voice of us, 
home care worker. So we must abolish the 24 hour work day. Because this is an inhumane working environment that treats this industry worker, especially the woman, like the slave. So the home care worker have a lot of responsibility and pressure. So she's taking care of the patient day and night. So work like a slave. Um, So uh, um, she say uh, we uh, we also the home care worker also have a family, a children, so every day taking uh, taking a lot of pressure. So we demand the government pass this legislature legislation uh, pass this law to protect the worker and uh, protect the patient. So no more 24 hour shift. At least is spread to two shifts. And she, uh, we, we demand the government to do that. Thanks. Por trabajar 24 horas y deberíamos de acabar con esta práctica inhumana que nos tratan como esclavos. Estoy aquí también para demandar que el gobierno base esta, esta, esta legislación que protege a los trabajadores y le da cuidado a los pacientes. Gracias. So as we heard, these 24-hour workdays are making patients out of workers. When we work these long hours, we're getting injured. It needs to end. So on that note, I want to introduce two of our sponsors. We're going to start out with Senator Roxanne Persaud. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. What are we here for today? We are here to say 24 hours is too long. That's, right. That's what we're saying today. 24 hours is inhumane. No one should be working 24 hours without a break. It is unhealthy. It is unhealthy for the worker and it's unhealthy for the patient. It is a safety hazard and we have got to stop that. Assembly member Harvey and I that's what we're going to be doing. That's right. We are going to be fighting hard come the new legislative session with all of my colleagues to ensure that a 24 hour work day for you workers is not going to continue. Is that what we want? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what we really want? Yeah. 24 hours is too long. That's our mantra. 24 hours is too long. We cannot afford to allow you to work 24 hours without a break. Tell me about it. When people come to the office and they talk about, I'm, I mean, you know, all night I can't sleep. I have to be up with a patient. The patient's in critical care, but I have to be up, and I am ill also. Who's benefiting from that? No one. Because if you have two patients now, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when the patient, the, the caretaker is ill, and taking care of an ill patient, and no one else is there to help anyone. Both of them are ill in the home. What happens? We have got to stop that. And so that's our intent, to end the 24-hour shift, to ensure that you workers are receiving the adequate time off that you must have. So that is my commitment to you, and that's, I know, my colleagues' commitment to you. Thank you. And for Saad pointed out that these 24 hour workdays do not work for any of us. We've got home care workers out here whose families have been That's torn apart, fun. health has been torn apart. It's so, thank you so much for talking about that bill, which in the Senate is S, S, I'm sorry, which in the Senate is S6640. We're going to have a quick translation and then Assembly Member Harvey Epstein. Soy la senadora Perso, estoy aquí para decir que 24 horas son demasiadas horas. Y vamos a luchar 
Yo y el senador Harvey Epstein, eh, el senador Harvey Epstein, para asegurarnos de que nosotros no podemos eh, dejar esta práctica porque muchas se convierten en pacientes. No puede ser que un paciente cuide a otro paciente. Gracias. And now we're introducing Assemblymember Harvey Epstein to talk about Bill A. Oh, sorry, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So we're all here because we know there's a problem. We know there's a problem in health care. We see workers every day struggling. We see patients struggling as well. Someone who's working 24 hours isn't taking care of themselves. If they can't take care of their own health, their own physical health, their own mental health, how are they going to take care of someone else? And we're saying not only do you want to work 24 hours, but we're only paying you for 13 out of the 24 hours. This is a social justice issue. It's an economic justice issue. Workers are being paid on average $25,000 a year. And we know in a city like New York, that is not a living wage. That is not something that's sustainable. So we're here to say, one, let's abolish the 24-hour rule. Let's do that. And let's support workers, workers from organizations all over the city. You know, AI and Woman organizing on this issue. There are organizations, Chinese staff and workers, National Mobilization of Sweatshop, saying that their members are seeing this struggle every day. Now we realize that patient care is important, and this is not saying we don't care about patients. We're not sacrificing patient care at all. What we're saying is we're improving patient care by ensuring workers have living wages, livable wages, livable hours, and that's our goal. So the bottom line, we know this costs money. This is costs money. The government has to step up. And we're lucky we have strong leadership in our Senate. We have my assembly colleagues here who are going to speak in a few minutes. Deborah Gleck, Joanne Simon, David Weprin, Natalia Fernandez, who are here standing with us saying, we know this is a priority. We know this is a social justice issue. And we know we need to spend money to make this work. And that's exactly what we're going to do when we run into the next legislative session. Stay involved. Keep being involved. Push us to get this done. Thank you all for being here. Harvey Epstein está aquí luchando con ustedes porque sabemos que tenemos una crisis de salud pública, pero no tan solo una crisis de salud pública, sino una crisis, crisis laboral. Los trabajadores están trabajando demasiadas horas y eso le destruye la salud porque no, si un trabajador no se puede cuidar trabajando 24 horas, ¿cómo va a cuidar un paciente? Entonces, Estamos aquí porque muchos trabajadores, eh, en apoyo de todos los trabajadores aquí en la ciudad de Nueva York, que están pasando condiciones muy duras. Gracias. Ah, todos ya todos y chi, ah, ah, muchos de que ah, trabajadores todos, todos ya todos ah, están están de igual. Ah, si no están están de igual, no pueden ya no pueden no pueden mejor de trabajo de que pilen. 这个二十四小时的工作日呢，对这个功能也不好，对病人也不好。大家就一起来终结这个二十四小时的工作日，它也介绍很多这些团体，好像职工会，好像呢，安门啊，这些呃妇女联盟，全部都联合，今天都联合
Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And I want to thank my the sponsors of the bill, Senator Prasad and Assemblymember Epstein and Senator Myrie and Hoyleman. It is important for all of us to stand together. I thank all of the advocates. Who is Who are the patients? They're elderly. They're ill. They're disabled. Who are the workers? Generally, it is women who are forced, you know, forced to work in human hours, not benefiting either themselves, their families, or the patients when they have to work 24 hours. This is vital that we stop this inhumane hour, 24 hour work day, and we are going to do that, and I thank everyone for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that is a perfect segue. You know, why are these workers having to work so long? Is it because we're mostly women? Because we're mostly immigrants? Because we're mostly women of color? So I want to bring up Sonia Asario of the National Organization for Women. She's the president of the New York State chapter. Thank you so very much. Absolutely, this is a woman's issue first and foremost. And when we discriminate against women, like we are doing here with home health care workers who are taking care of our dear loved ones, we are putting our entire economy at risk and the health of all of our citizens and people. So it's important. You have to imagine what it would be like to head into work and be told that you must, you are forced to work a 24-hour shift. Imagine being the daughter of someone, of an elderly, sick parent, knowing that the person who's coming to relieve you to take care of your loved one is gonna work 24 hours with fatigue, with little sleep, and to boot, very little pay. This is a workers' rights abuse that must stop. And it's the reality of too many home health care workers. This isn't controversial. It certainly should not be controversial at all. Ending the forced 24-hour work shift is a workers' right issue that shouldn't need to be defended at this point in history. Safe working conditions, a reasonable work schedule, and fair pay are the basic workplace tenets that create a healthy, prosperous, and just society. We call on the, Nash, on the New York lawmakers to pass this critical legislation now. Es importante que cada una de nosotros imagina irse a su trabajo y no poder irse después de ocho horas, que tienes que quedar ahí 24 horas forzado. Y sin paga. Sin paga y sin paga. Esto no es controvertido. Acaba con el torno de trabajo forzado de 24 horas. Es un, es un caso de derechos humanos. Sí, absolutamente. Sí, sí. Y no, no debería ser neces necesario defender eso en este punto en nuestra historia de derechos humanos aquí en el, en el estado de Nueva York. Sí. 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 Estamos llamando, demandando ahora a los legisladores que cambian esta situación. Y esta le legislación se ayuda a todos nosotros y debemos hacerlo pronto, lo, mos, lo más pronto posible. Gracias. Thank you so much. Um, next, we have up Assembly Member Joanne Simon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, we're standing here outside of the site of the former Triangle Shirt Waste Factory, which has such, it resonates so much in terms of our labor history and in terms of women's history. You know, the women who worked at the Triangle Shirt Waste Factory were locked inside, and they worked unconscionable hours, uh, long hours, um, in an abusive situation. 
Today's shirtwaist factory workers are home health care workers because they are working 24-hour shifts and being paid for 13 hours. We have a term for that. It's involuntary servitude. And that is unconscionable and unconstitutional. So I am delighted and very grateful to my colleagues, Senator Roxanne Prasad and Assemblymember Harvey Epstein and all of my colleagues here and the advocates I've been working with for the past several years on this issue to ban the 24-hour workday. This is America. This is New York State. What are we doing? So I encourage everybody to speak up and speak out and make sure that we pass this bill so that we bring this kind of protection to our workers. Thank you very much. And that's right, it is time to end the sweatshop, whether it's in a factory, whether it's in the office, whether it's in our homes. 24 hours working, no way! Next we have up Senator Myrie. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Josong. Josong. Bonsoir. 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 Okay. All right. Ni hao. Yeah, that's, that's very good. Very good. I'm State Senator Zell Normari. Let me first thank Senator Prasad, Assembly Member Epstein, for sponsoring this legislation. I stand before you today not just as a state senator, but as a son of a home health aide. My mom is a home health aide right now. And so this is a personal issue for me uh, because we know that most people in this industry are women and most of them are women of color. Yeah. And I would venture to say that if it were a different population, no one would stand for this. Right. So we are gonna say today, today, no more to the 24 hour work shift. Oh. It is an injustice and we will not stand for it here in the state of New York. So I look forward to working with my colleagues to ensure that we pass this bill next session. Thank you to all of the advocates and the community people. Let's go get it done. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that's exactly correct. You know, I want to mention for a moment, all of the home care workers out here, are we victims? No. no. Does the system run without us? No. no. from Queens in the house. Yeah. Nobody. Queens is the county of immigrants. We have one of the most diverse populations. My assembly district has almost 60% first born uh, in another country. First born immigrants in Queens. Very diverse community. Many, many home care workers. And as was pointed out, home care workers do probably the most important job uh, protecting our families and our loved ones. And they're also the, the most uh, low paid workers uh, of any workers. Uh, and we're here to protect uh, those workers from what's comparable to slavery. 24 hours, not getting paid for 24 hours. We need to protect these workers you know, we have to have humane conditions, but you can't have workers working around the clock doing very, very important functions, protecting our family and loved ones. So I'm a proud uh, co-prime sponsor of Assemblyman Epstein's bill uh, in the Assembly. Uh, I also want to thank uh, our colleague in the Senate, Senator Prasad, uh, for championing this bill uh, in the Senate and uh, we will get it done. We've protected so many other workers uh, this past session. Uh, now is the time to protect home care workers and abolish the 24 hours. Thank you so much. And that's correct. You know, many of us are even union members, 1199, and yet still we have folks working 24 hour workdays, paid for only half of the hours, only 13 of the hours, and it's got to end. So next, I'd like to invite up Senator Hoyleman. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Upstate Senator Brian Hoyleman, 
uh, I happen to live a couple of blocks from here, so it's kind of nice to roll out of bed and show up at a press conference. But I got to thank Senator Prasad and our leader, State Senator, Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins, because the reason this bill has a prayer is because for the first time ever, women run the New York State Senate. Yeah. And I got to thank my colleague, uh, Senator Epstein, and all my assembly colleagues, too. You know, as was commented earlier, here we are on the sidewalk, on the sidewalk where 146 souls fell to their death in 1911 because they were trapped in inhumane working conditions. They were locked into their offices and in their workplace and fell because there was no exit, because there were no laws, because they worked in a sweatshop. And most of those victims were women. And most of those victims were immigrants. And most of those victims didn't have the opportunity like we have today to organize and fight for our rights. So let's all take a moment and think about those victims of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. And as we move forward, let's pledge that we will end the 21st century sweatshop. Yeah. And we know that the 21st century sweatshop still exists. It's now with home health care workers. It's now with those workers who are forced into 24-hour shifts. It's now with those workers who are locked, not in sweatshops where they make garments, but where they have to care for our loved ones with no time off. That is our mission today, Senator Prasad. I am so grateful to you for picking up this cause. We will fight to win, we will fight to organize, and we will end the 24-hour shift. 24 hours, no! 24 hours, no! 24 hours, no! Oh, no! No 24 hours, and I want to invite up our next speaker, Governor Fernandez! Thank you, and good morning. Good morning. My name is Natalia Fernandez. I'm here from the Boogie Down Bronx to say no way to a 24-hour workday. I have to thank Senator Prasad and Assemblyman Epstein for leading this fight, and I thank my, my colleagues for joining today because this is inhumane. I challenge anybody to tell me that they don't have a friend or a family member or a neighbor that is not receiving patient care. And I challenge anyone to tell me that they can work great and successfully at 24 hours a day. It's not possible. It can't happen. We need to make sure our workers are rested well, that they are able to care for our loved ones, because if not, then we might lose a loved one. And we can't risk that no more. This is, again, inhumane, and it needs to stop. And especially if you're not getting paid for the full 24 hours, then you should not be working the full 24 hours. Right. Amen. So I look forward to fighting this next, next year in session, and I'm positive that we will make this a, a success. So thank you again. And again, no way for 24 hours a day. Thank you so much, and that's exactly right. People with disabilities, people with chronic health conditions, older individuals are more and more wanting to come out of the institutions and live in their homes. One of our sponsoring organizations is the Disability Education and Advocacy Network of Western New York. We've got home care workers here from as far as, far as Niagara Falls, statewide issue for workers, for people with disabilities, and together we will win! Thank you so much. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, Senator Pertuan. You know, she had this bill when she was in the Assembly. My name is Arabella Samotos. I represent Northwest Queens, uh, Astoria, Long Island City, and I can tell you that this issue is very personal to me. I have a father who pretty soon is going to need 24-hour care, and I mean, I know what that's going to be like. Right now, we're able to, you know, through family, through my mother, we're able to provide the assistance. But when we're not able to do that anymore, we're going to have to hire somebody. And it's not fair to expect that somebody will work 
24 hours a day without break, without even just compensation. Because if you're getting paid, maybe you can push yourself to work those 24 hours. But if you're not, you have no incentive. There's a sign here, and I don't speak Spanish, but I'm going to read it. Uh, 24 horas se trabajo. De, uh, and I think it says destro destroys families. And I'm sorry because my Spanish, I have not gone to Spanish since high school, but that's what it does. It destroys families, not just those caretakers, but also the families who depend on the services. I want the best care for my family members, and I know that the health care providers also want to do the same. We can't expect that to happen if they do not sleep, if they do not rest. It is common sense. Unfortunately, uh, you know, common sense is not so common all the time, but the truth is that we have to measure our humanity as a state by how we treat the most vulnerable around us. We need to get this done. We need to get this done next year. No excuses. Thank you very much, Harvey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are we machines? No! Are women machines? No! 100 years after Sojourner Truth raised the question, ain't I a woman? That's right. We are coming here today. We're coming together under the Ain't I a Woman campaign to say we are not machines. We will not be treated as such. We are women. We are workers. And we will get justice today. Uh, le vengo a hablar, a hablar un poco de mi experiencia como asistente en el hogar. Trabajé 27 años como asistente en el hogar. La mayoría de esos años fueron 20, 24 horas. Las 24 horas que le di de servicio a, a las agencias con amor y, y mucho respeto. Este, yo, yo cuando acepté esta, este compromiso no pensé en, lo, en las consecuencias. Trabajé 24 horas, no podía dormir. No podía dormir, aban, eh, abandoné mis hijos, abandoné, abandoné a mi hogar. Me dediqué a trabajar en la semana 5 y 6 horas. Horas que, que días que, 5 y 6 días. Días en los cuales a veces no podía ni siquiera dormir porque tenía que estar pendiente a todas mis mi, mi responsabilidades y mis compromisos. También tenía que estar pendiente a que dejaba a mis hijos solo en mi hogar y que descuidaba mis mi responsabilidades también en mi hogar. Bueno, ese fue mi trabajo. Yo trabajé todos esos años 24 horas, los cuales la noche no me eran pagadas. Y aún así yo seguí trabajando porque necesitaba el trabajo y también necesitaba el dinero. Este, esto me trajo muchas consecuencias, porque mis hijos se descarriaron, perdí mi esposo, eh, nunca estaba eh, eh, imponible cuando me llevaban de las escuelas para ir a atenderlo, porque se llamaba la gente para que me mandaran una, una, un reemplazo, nunca aparecía quién o si no me dejaban esperando. Cometí muchos errores, pero traté de dar lo mejor de mí porque estaba cuidando personas enfermas y necesitaba, lo que más necesitaban de mí era amor y, y mi y respeto y yo traté de mantener las cosas divididas, mis problemas personales a un lado y mi responsabilidad como asistente a otro. Hoy en día la vida me ha pasado la factura, porque mis hijos cada uno cogió su, su rumbo, no me terminaron las escuelas, no fui pagada las noches, fueron gratis, tuve bastantes accidentes en el trabajo, tuve desgarre en los hombros, problemas en la espalda, levantando pacientes pesados, con el voy a limpiar a veces, o pasando de la cama a la silla, de la silla a la cama, él no dormía, eso me causó un no nervio, y me, vivía bastante estresada por el problema familiar y también con mi responsabilidad como homotender. Hoy en día, el resultado de yo haber hecho esto ha sido la cepa. Eh, perdí mi salud, estoy enferma, estoy perdiendo la visión por un golpe que me dio un mojo en el trabajo, y muchas cosas que me pasaron. Por un lado no me arrepiento porque di lo, que, lo mejor de mí en mi trabajo. Eh, mi siempre he tenido carisma para cuidar a ancianos y niños y hice eso. Pero por otro lado perdí parte de mi vida porque perdí el cuidado de mis, de mis hijos. Eh, y hoy en día todavía ellos me lo reclaman que yo no estaba ahí en Cristo con ellos ni un, ni un año nuevo porque nunca me mandaban a veces a quien me, me reemplazara. 
Me contrataban por cinco y seis días, pero a veces me dejaban hasta dos semanas, estrés en el trabajo. Y el estrés me enfermó, me dañó mi salud. Este, y hoy en día, eh, tengo seis meses que me tuve que deshabilitar, porque ya no puedo más. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Martinez. I've worked as a home care worker for 27 years. Most of those years, 24-hour shifts, five, six days a week. All of, all of those, uh, 11 of those hours were unpaid. I worked those, those 24-hour shifts to give my children a better life. But during those years, I wasn't able to care for them, and I wasn't able to care for my health. I lost a lot of time with them, and this type, my, this work affected my health, my back, and my vision. I love this work, but it cost me a lot. It robbed me of my family, and it robbed me of my health. I'm here to say no more than 24 hours. No! Quiero decirle otra cosa, yo, yo quiero soltarle a las compañeras y a, las, a la, todas las trabajadoras en el hogar que pongan de su parte y le digan no más 24 horas, que las 24 horas sean divididas, 12 y 12, que cuando una mamá tenga el trabajo en la noche y pueda descansar en el día, así cuando tú llegas donde la paciente o donde el paciente, tú puedes llegar con una sonrisa en los labios y darle lo mejor de ti al paciente. También eso te ayuda con la salud. No más 24 horas, no más abuso y que no nos sigan robando nuestros salarios, por favor. I'm here to call on home care workers and politicians to say no more 24 hours. So that we can give better care to our patients and that we can sleep and so they can stop stealing our wages. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to say it is workers like Selene Martinez, it is workers like all the folks here today who are not victims but who are leading the way because we know long hours, even if it's worse for home care workers, is something that people of all industries are starting to face longer and longer hours. A century ago, people fought and died for the eight hour work week. I'm sorry, the eight hour work day, 40 hour work week. We're here to say we're not going to settle for 24 hour work day, and we will lead the way to a more just future for all workers. What do we want? Split shifts. When do we want them? Now. What do we want? Split shifts. When do we want them? Now. What do we want? Split shifts. When do we want them? Now. familia estaba había un muerto y no pude salir porque tenía 24 horas dijeron que no podían mandar a nadie que lo sentían demasiado pero que no podían mandar a nadie nosotros no tenemos ayuda de nadie la unión nunca nos ayudó nadie nos ayudó simplemente a trabajar 24 horas y nada más 
That's right. Another worker who was injured from the 24-hour workday. So thank you all so much for coming out. And a law. We're going to pass a law to overturn a regulation. And so do you expect that if this is changed, that people are not either able to work or only pay for 13 hours, that there's going to be more work? Um, sure, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll take you to Yeah, okay. You think you can send it to me? <laughs> Thank you so much. Mira, mira, mira.